Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a battery that I need to win by making water available in the land. Here is a salient feature. Common area, that's a territory area, is 1,500 acres. And the cost of the project is 2 million euros. The cost of 2 million euros the age. And the main, it's a benefit population, the farmers, 5,000, and main canal length is 11.6 miles, and there are other 27 branch canals, both minor, major and minor. Here is a location map, Nepal, in between India and China, Tibet. That's a, a project area, and it's about less, uh, it's less than 250 miles west of Mount Everest, the highest peak, and less than a 150 miles northeast of Lumini, the birthplace of Buddha, and it's 140 miles west of Kathmandu. Here is the index map showing the green area. Green area, I expected that if I have uh, was a uh, pointer. Green area is the common area, that's the irrigable area, and the bushes are the jungle area. The thick blue line is the uh, main canal and uh, thin blue lines are the major branch canals. <laughs> and here is the location of the office. This is the source stream, the dream of 5,000 villagers. We can see the steep slope. And what that one has to walk. I, I spent three years walking through this area. This photograph was snapped around two and a half miles downstream. <coughs> from the Kedrock side, from where we need to travel water for irrigation. And that is the structure, the side intake to travel stream water for irrigation. We provided screen. Uh, these are the screens. And these are uh, to prevent the borders and travel from the area to the main canal. However, they need to be separated before taking the entry into the main canal. And this is done with the help of this suffering basin. With the increase in the flow area, there will be decrease in the flow velocity for the constant discharge, and thus making the sediment settle down. And they are removed with this step of this cross regulator and make flow back to the stream to the uh, for a step channel, and the clean water will go for this canal. Sea level of this color regulator is higher than the base level of the cross regulator. And here is the first item showing main canal and escape channel, about which we just talked about coming from the subtle basin and joining the street. And this is the street. And all these structures need to be protected during a high flood period. And this is done with the step of this urban embankment, blanketed with created bowlers and launching at one. And still we can see the site in there. Here is the main canal following the mountain part. We need to follow the part of the mountain, and at the same time, we need to make the main canal according to our requirements. One is canal site for the required discharge. The second one, the canal zone for the required velocity. Velocity plays some role in the canal discharge to some extent, but they need to be within some limits because most of the canals are earthen. They are not lined and they flow under gravity. The beginning part was not the easy one. One is bigger in size. The canal size is bigger. The second one is we have very limited rooms to change the alignment, to set the alignments. So we need to hit the iron when it's hard. And still we can see the canal regulator that is attached with that uh, settling basin. And all these canals, main canal, branch canals, are designed by using the Mannix formula that many actually did not like that formula, but still we are using right now. That was more than 100 years ago, he gave up. And mineral is the main canal characteristics in the mountainous area. Apart from making the main canal,
canal and trans canals. We need to make many studs, make different type of structures before making water available in farmers' land. There are two challenging structures in my project. They were cross bridges for siphon pipe. The construction of these two truss bridges shortened the canal length by two and a half miles, two big loops in the uh, jungle area. That made very ex uh, easy, extensively easy during the canal of a period. But here it is, we made it. But the beginning part, was, the construction part was not easy. Every part of the truss bridge need to be carrier, carried out by human beings on their back for 16 miles. And cable maker was the only one that I can start construction of the truss bridge. With the help of with the help of cable, this is the cable. With the help of cable, we are able to hang hangers. And with, with the help of hangers, we are able to use the tank and that started the construction work. And here it is. This is the first truss bridge located at eight miles from the source and seems to be flying. And it's under feet above the base stream. And here is the second photograph of the same cross bridge, showing the cross bridge and downstream siphon pipe. Here is the second cross bridge, located at two miles downstream from the first one. That means 10 miles from the hero side. And here is the second photograph of the second cross bridge. Apart from cross bridge, we need to make many other structures as I mentioned before. Aqueduct for canal water or drainage water, and supervises for drainage water or canal water, and foot bridges for crossing men and animals, and many other structures we need to construct on the square. And this is the photograph during the time when we were constructing one aqueduct. And here is the complete portion of the aqueduct. It's the longest one, and its total length is 112 feet long. And sometimes we need to drain the canal water out of the canal completely. This is done with the help of skip gears. And all the regulators, skip gears, they are manually operated. And wherever possible, I used to provide the automatic speedway. With a rise in water level at a certain depth, flow out of this canal and join to the drain. And our main command area was at lower level than the Kerouac side. And it should be, otherwise water won't flow under gravity. But it's much lower than the slope we provided in the canal. So the difference is adjusted by providing the slopes, and it was in the main canal. When slope is steep, we provided series of falls, and we set the flare. And this is in a small branch canal. And here is a small fall structure, almost at the tail end, about 11 miles from the yellow side, and we can see still water running out of this. Our main objective of the construction of these structures, canal, main canal structures, was to get the stream water in the farmer's land. This was done with the help of main canal and branch canal. And water distribution is done with this help of canal regulation. Sometimes we we have to use planks on the downstream side of the groves, groves on the downstream side, and to raise the water level if the water level is low. So that's for example. 